So why even bother with linked lists? We got a raise, but eh, we don't need linked lists. Linked lists give us more flexibility, but as you know, with great power comes great responsibilities. So there's benefits for our application, and there's benefits for us. One of the benefits that we have right off the bat is pretend we're inserting a value into an array. Now, an array is a contiguous set of memory, so if we wanted to add something and throw it in between two elements, we had to throw it in between and then move all the different elements from that down one. And that takes a long time, especially if you have a massive array with massive pieces of data that are in each element. And then just the opposite, if we wanted to delete something from the array, and we need to push everybody back in, it's the exact same feature over and over again. So that's one of the big reasons that we would want to use a linked list over an array. The other thing that's very different between the two that can be good and bad, so there's drawbacks to both of them, is that as you know, like I just said, an array is a contiguous set of memory. If we need to change that, as in we wanted to add more to it, double the size or something of that nature, we would have to do a lot of manipulation, a memory manipulation behind the scenes. That's going to take time, more memory at first, and everything else like that. Now, with linked lists, it's, it's kind of like a hodgepodge. They're all linked together by a link, and yes, we're going to be talking about links quite a bit here, but they're all linked together, meaning that if I need to delete this poor guy right here, I can go ahead and just bypass that node into the next one without changing everybody, without changing a whole bunch of links, without changing the overall structure of the memory that's already in the computer, saving us a lot of time and, in reality, a lot of hassle. So that's the big differences of pros and cons of using arrays versus linked lists and vice versa.